Hello everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I'm going to be working in my kitchen to share with you a video that has been requested for a very long time. Um, I've gotten so many questions over the years about how I decorate the tops of my kitchen cabinets. And I have never done a video just specifically on the tops of my kitchen cabinets. So I have been feeling the need to change things up just a little bit here and there and I thought today would be a great time to go ahead and do it and to share it with you. Now if you have open cabinets like I do in my kitchen, you learn very quickly that they are a great place to put those big bulky items like your cake plates and your cake carriers, all those kind of things that take up a lot of space in cabinets. So not only do you get to see them on a regular basis, but you also don't have to store them and take up precious cabinet space. So that's just a thought to keep in mind if you, like myself, enjoy those kind of items or any other sort of, you know, like um, vintage appliances and stuff would be really fun up on the tops of your shelves as well. So um, I didn't change out a whole lot, um, but I did change up enough to make it feel new and exciting to myself anyways. And I hope that you guys will enjoy this and get a little bit of inspiration from it as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in.
Okay, so this is, I have, basically have, so I basically have two sides of my kitchen. I've got this area over the sink and an area over my stove. We're going to start over here above my um, kitchen sink area. And I'm using my phone, so hopefully this is not going to be too shaky. But it is really hard to, my tripod is too short to actually get a good look up here. So I'm just going to wing it today. Um, above my refrigerator, I have a scale resting on a, what do you call that? A cutting board. And then I have this basket next to it that's got a book that's propping up a vegetable um, dish and then a platter behind it. And then above that, I have my two chrome cake carriers, which I absolutely love. One is rectangle, one is square. I used to have a circle one, but I never used that one. So I got rid of it so I'd have more space up here. But I love these. Um, the rectangle one I use when we go to family reunions and I do like a vegetable tray on it. I love it because then you can put the lid on it and it keeps the bugs out and I absolutely, so I use that quite a bit. The other one I don't use quite as much. <laughs> And then moving on down here, I have this area right here where it has my two milk glass um, cake stands. You saw me struggling with this section before when I was decorating. And basically what I did was just scooch them together a little bit. One of them has a nice ruffled edge and the other one is really pretty and it's shorter and it has um, some nice gold detailing on the top. Both of them are vintage. But I decided to add this little milk glass compote on top of it, and I think that turned out pretty nice. Oh, my arms are starting to shake already. We are going to move to the to the middle section here. <laughs> I'm going to get my arm workout for today. So this is a section that I did the most change on, and for some reason, this is a section that I always look at the most. For some reason. I think it's because I'm always coming to the sink area to clean up something. So I don't know. This is where I wanted to make the biggest change. And as you can see, I kept the a few of the same elements, but then I added some more stuff. I started off with this really big enamelware um, pan that I had bought at a thrift store years and years ago. And I have take it down every now and then to use it, but most of the time it sits up here. To, as a display piece and I think it makes a nice little background for things and then this piece here in the middle I picked up at um, Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago I think it's really fun and then off to the side of that I've just put some flowers and a little galvanized pot and then I have um, a glass milk bottle which I am reusing so over on the other side I put this um, metal gel jello mold i believe it's called up here i think it is so cool i've been on the lookout for more of these i think they're fun and then behind that i propped up a vintage cheese grater and then i reused this milk jug as well this one's actually my favorite one in my collection because i love the metal handle on it i think it is so cool so i really like how this section turned out i think it's really nice <laughs> all right so then moving on down here to the very very end and this is where I keep my glass cake dishes. So I basically just kind of scooch these together a little more. And then underneath the middle one to add a little extra height to the mix, I added a footed cutting board, which was in my collection that I wasn't currently using. So I think that looks nice. And I really like how this side turned out. I like the um, space in between the sort of vignettes that I have up here. Once you get down here, you don't have quite as much space between the vignettes, but I really do like having that, you know, resting place in between the areas and not filling up the whole space. So let's go over to the other side of the kitchen. So then moving over to the other side of the kitchen cabinets, which is over my stove area, I started off with my collection of enamelware um, coffee pots. I love these, so of course I had to keep them up here. I just think they're so much fun. I love enamelware, so <laughs> and as you can see, I um, love the red and the black. <laughs> I've had all these have been from the thrift stores, so that's always awesome. Actually, I think this one down here on the end without a lid was from a antique store and only cost me like five dollars because it didn't have the lid which is perfect because then it's perfect for holding like 
flowers and stuff like that. So, <laughs> and then moving on over here, I made this little shelf just yesterday. I quickly put it together just for these dishes. Um, I thought it was a nice way to be able to display these dishes up here. Um, the bottom one is, I believe, a Corel wear. And then the one above that, I believe it's Anchor Hawking. I'm not sure. But both of these were my mother's that she kindly gave to me because she was going to get rid of them. I'm like, no. So that was kind of like part of my childhood. For sure, the bottom one, I remember that one. Mom used to make shepherd's pie in that one all the time. And then up on top, I made a little shelf for my newly acquired um, fridge wear, which I love so much. So if you're interested in how I made this shelf, it is really super duper easy. I will have a really quick tutorial, like two sec, two minute tutorial at the end of this video, just in case you're interested. And then of course there is next to that is this, I don't know what you call this. It kind of reminds me of something you would see on top of a barn. But I found it at um, Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago, and it's just kind of been sitting up here. It never really went with anything, but I think it's looking really nice right now next to the shelf and then this pot of flowers, which I just added into the mix. So I'm really liking how that turned out. And then over here, and the final thing that I have up here is my red and white enamel wear um bread box oh my goodness i love this thing so much i don't know that this is actually a vintage i know it's probably just a reproduction but i love it up here i love that it's in red and white and it says bread on the front and this thing is super duper handy i keep tons of little things in it that i don't use very often like cake decorating bags and decorating tips like the um what else do i have in there like little things that go on top of like cupcakes and stuff like that. I also have um, like little squeeze bottles for decorating cupcakes. And then like the um, little tools that you need for like um, at Halloween for carving jack-o'-lanterns and stuff like that. Just a whole bunch of like mishmash little things that, you know, you need like once a year. <laughs> so that is what I have up in there. And I think it makes a great place for me to stash all that stuff. So I'm really liking how this side turned out as well. And I feel like my kitchen looks brand new with all the new looks that I've got going on. One other thing since we're in the kitchen, I wanted to show you this new tablecloth that a subscriber sent to me that I absolutely love. Don't mind my messy kitchen in the background. With everyone home, I don't get rid of all the messes every day. <laughs> So anyways, back to this gorgeous tablecloth. Aren't the colors just absolutely perfect for my kitchen? I just love it so much. It fits my table perfectly, and I just love it so much. I think it is so cool. I've never seen a tablecloth with, like, this Spanish theme before, and I think it is really cool. So I am loving it. I love her dress. I think it is so fun. So there's two images. There's this one here of the two dancing. And then there's this one here with the, her, you know, like carrying a basket of, looks like fruit on her head. And then in between, there's these gorgeous, it's blue or red ones, alternating with blue ones. And then in the middle, it has this cute little design as well. And I just love it so much. I, as soon as I got it, I threw it on the table here. So I wanted to add it into today's video because I wanted to share with you how perfectly it fits this table. So thank you for sending it to me. I am so blessed that you decided to send it to me because I am absolutely adoring it and I am so excited to have it. So thank you very, very much. You know who you are who sent it to me. So yeah, I am just loving it. I think it is perfect. If you're wondering how I made this shelf for my dishes, I took a 1x12 board, cut two long pieces and four short pieces. I then attached all the small pieces to one of the long pieces, um, make measuring between them for the height of each of the shelf that I needed. And then I attached the other long piece and I pre-drilled all the holes before using screws to hold it all together. Went together super quick and easy. I then gave it a base coat of black paint and then did my distressing technique with white paint over the top of that. I will have a link for my distressing technique 
video in the description box if you would like to check that out. It seems to be working absolutely perfectly for holding my dishes, which is what I was hoping for, so I'm very pleased with it. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I would love to know what you're thinking down in the comments. And of course, if you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Also, before I go, if you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy watching my Decorated with Thrifting Finds video that I put up recently. I will link that in the description box and it will also be on the end screen for you to take advantage of if you would like to. So, thanks for watching today. I will see you soon in my next video. Bye now.